Morning everyone, I thought I would just do a little outside broadcast because Ian's away and I miss you all. Um, I just, I'm just on my way to the gym. It's been really hard getting there in this morning. It was like trying to prize myself out of a, a tin can, trying to get myself out. But I'm nearly here and the exciting thing is the gym is just opposite Ray Stitch. So I'm going to pop into Ray Stitch afterwards just in case they have got any of their lovely sewing books on sale which they've got a great selection um, and I might take you in for a little browse around there in a little bit. See you in a bit! everyone I'm back home it's about 4 p.m. it's ever so dark oh no it's not it's about half five but it's been really grey outside and it's been one of those afternoons where I switch all the lights off I've had a little candle on and I've been watching Sherlock on the couch and then I fell asleep so if I look a bit red in the face it's because you know when you wake up and it's just boiling and I think it's I think it's the time of life <laughs> that I'm going through or it's on its way anyway Anyway, just popped on to say I never do any fabric hauls anymore and it is because I do obviously buy fabric for myself but it's all stuff that I get for the shop and then I just sort of squirrel some off for myself and so I don't like to do fabric hauls on this channel of that stuff because well I don't have a channel for the shop but um, I don't want it to just look like I'm pushing that stuff so I don't do that which means no fabric hauls but um, I have had a, bought some fabric that get, got delivered today that I thought I'd just show you and also I have got a rather large delivery of happy mail from Rach of Stitched Up fame. Hi Rach! So I'm going to open that on camera so I better like it um, right, so I'll first of all I'll just show you what I got. I bought some lycra. You know, I said I wanted to make um, have a go at making my own active wear and making a swimsuit. So they just came today. This one was from BST Fabrics, and it's a bit more of a neon pink in real life. I don't really like it, but I think it's okay. Well, I think it'd be really good for like an accent colour, but I wouldn't make anything just out of that because it's a bit too. Um, 1980s aerobic leotard style so that was from BST and that's quite good value for the money and then again Rachel stitched up Rachel told me about Tia Knight fabrics and they are amazing resource for active wear fabrics they've got so much and it's so reasonable so I put in quite a big order with them and I got just some black lycra 
Oh, I went and got my nails done today, by the way. I'm so pleased because I've had one missing. and It's like having a missing tooth almost. You don't want to show your hands to anyone. Then I got this one. I think this is my favourite. It's called something like tarragon something. It's quite a hard colour. That's true to the colour, but it's quite a hard colour to describe because is it green or is it brown or is it yellow? Um, it's kind of like sludge or snot, but I just think it, I really like the colour. I th really, <laughs> I really like it. So um, I love this. It's sort of super matte. The black one is kind of more matte on one side, but this one's really, really matte. And then, um, oops, it's all sliding off because it slides and slips everywhere. This one, which is oh, a little bit, a little bit deeper blue than that in real life, it's coming up very bright. But yeah, it is a nice royal blue. So they're all quite sort of good quality swimming costume type fabrics. And then I also bought some of their slightly cheaper matte lycra as well. And I'm not 100% sure about what I'm going to do with that because I don't know. It says it was sold as four-way stretch and it has got four-way stretch, but crossways stretch. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a strong enough stretch for things like leggings. I mean, what I could do is I could cut the pieces on the cross grain, but I'm not sure if the fabric is actually thick enough for leggings. Now, what I could do is make like the bum part out of this, which definitely is thick enough, and then make side panels or something out of the other. So I'll show you what I got. So, you know, I don't like to do things by halves. So I bought quite a few pieces. So yeah, that's a nice teal color. This one is a sea green color. Yeah, that's coming up true to color. A black one. I mean, that will make a fine, like, I, I like quite, I quite like wearing at the gym leggings and like loose t-shirts and that, all these will be fine for the, for these. So that's, that's going to be okay. And then I bought some pinks as well. So I've got this Cerise one. This was sold as light coral, but I'd call it like bubblegum or candy pink maybe, but I very much like those. Um, I got this plain mocha one. Let me show you what I mean about the stretch. So this is, it's got the greatest stretch lengthways and then the widthways, it's got some stretch, but it's a much firmer stretch. I mean, Rachel, you'll be able to tell me about whether or not this would be all right for a swimming costume. I mean, you can see it's fairly see-through as well. I mean, it'd be fine to line a swimming costume with, I guess. Um, then I got some red, just, just kind of scarlet. That's coming up a bit pink here. It's more of a tomato red. I mean, that cheaper stuff, I I, um, I think it was only like four quid a metre or something, so it wasn't too expensive. And I only got a metre of, of all of them. I just wanted to be able to mix and match and have some fun colour blocking, because I'm not really a big fan of colour blocking in my clothes. That's not a style that I ever wear. Um, but I think colour blocking in active wear will be really fun, and I'm really excited about that Melissa Fair book that I showed you. So the other thing is, then, this parcel from Rachel... Um, stitched up Rachel. So let's open it. There's quite a lot of fabric in here, Rachel. You went mad. Oh my god. She's been very generous. Wow, so the first one I'm getting out feels like some sort of coating. It is. Oh my God, this is amazing. It's faux fur, pink faux fur. This is absolutely bloody amazing. Look at that. That is leapfrogging right to the top of my to make pile. And I'll tell you why in a minute, actually. Is this, what's, is this what she's made? Rachel, you naughty, is this what you made your uh, coatigan out of? It's absolutely gorgeous. If it is, then I think she said it was Angora, or I always get mi Angora mixed up with cashmere, and what's the other one? 
anyway it's absolutely gorgeous i think this is the one that she said was like a muppet and it's so not like a muppet it's the opposite it's so kind of i mean i think it looks really really like classy and nice because it's not it's not fur really it's just kind of sh it is but it's very short pile i absolutely love it so excited to do something with that so that's the first one and i can see four in there next is some viscose this is really really nice i think this would make some gorgeous trousers or maybe a dress actually i love the colors in this she's given me quite a lot i think she's given me about two meters oops that's the wrong side that's the right side look those colors are gorgeous aren't they i really love that she actually we did a fabric swap in the summer and um she sent me some lovely viscose then that i haven't made up yet because what happened was I think we both had too many projects on and time trotted on and then because it was kind of quite a light viscose that she'd sent me I wanted to save it for a summer dress um because I've got a pattern in mind and actually this would work really well with the same pattern but I've got I've got so many plans I've got so many plans that I could do with it but I think that's so lovely now the next two are just I can see oh my god I found more I found more can't believe it oh my god I'm so excited for what's in here I've just seen some vintage patterns and I've just found my um just found my card anyway Merry Christmas wishes It's mohair and it was Bowden. Yeah, she says, I can totally see you in a crop jacket in this. I can as well. Thank you so much. Right, so there's a lovely card from Rachel saying she's a bit of a friend because it's too late, because she sent it so late. But you're a very good friend, Rachel, and you sent me loads of beautiful things. So anytime, any, you can be late anytime if you send me stuff like this. So next one is what I'd call Classic J very much me thank you that's going to make an amazing summer skirt or something similar i love it to go with all my anchor motifs i've got um anchor tattoos and anchor artwork it reminds me of amy my beloved amy winehouse now this is gorgeous this is so lovely This is just going to make, I'm, I'm, I've actually just got some fabric to make a green coat and this would make an amazing lining. There's actually loads of it because it looks quite wide. There's nearly two metres here. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I mean, it's so nice. I almost want to make like a dress out of it rather than use it as lining but it's it's quite it's not see-through sheer but it's quite lightweight but I absolutely love that I think those colors are phenomenal but I can see something peeking out of the the bag and this fabric looks so it looks so amazing so it feels like a crepe I've never seen her use this I don't think but it's just the most amazing pattern. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's proper sort of vintage territory that. It's a really, really lovely weight crepe. I think it's a Marocane crepe, uh, which is my favorite fabric to sew with fact fans there's absolutely loads of this do you know what i might like to make in this is a by hand london and a dress because i want to make a maxi dress but i don't well i'd love to make a maxi dress with long sleeves um but i 
I don't think I can carry it off, but the Anna dress obviously is kind of sleeveless. It's got well, they call flutter sleeves, but it kind of comes to here. So if I wasn't entirely covered, I reckon I could get away with it. And this is so amazing. And I don't think you'd have to pattern match it. And there's absolutely loads. I think there's like three meters here. Anyway, Rachel, you've totally spoiled me and I can see some vintage patterns in the packet. Ooh, ooh, oh, I love both of those. I love both of those. Look at this bodice. Look at that bodice. I love that. It's just my style with the empire line there. Really love that with the high neck and the bishop sleeves. I think that's so pretty. And this one is one of the Vogue designer ones. And it's super, super nice. I love that one with the V-neck and the long gathered skirt. Really love that. Loads of variations. I like the square neck as well. Well, Rachel, you absolutely killed it here. I am so, so grateful to you. Thank you so much for everything. And that crepe's amazing and the Bowden mohair's amazing. I wonder if I've got enough to be able to get a little biker jacket out of it. If not, I'm going to make one of those like Coco Chanel jackets. Uh, because I think it would look great in that with a little bit of trim on. But I'm so, so chuffed with all my fabric. So thanks very much, Rachel. I'm kind of blown away. I'm lost for words because that's so amazing. That's such an amazing haul. Um, so let me know what you think about my lovely, lovely fabrics. Which one's your favourite? And what do you think about the maxi dress plan for the crepe? And let me know if you familiar if you're familiar with sewing active wear about these fabrics about what they'd be suitable for in your opinion yes all advice gratefully received anyway i'm going to try and upload this video tonight and film the proper birder one later but as you can see i'm looking very gray around the gills so i need to get that done very soon anyway for now lots of love from camden